Welcome back. Now tomorrow the world celebrates International Women's Day and it's an important day that may mean different things to all of us. But what does it mean for the first female ambassador to South Africa from the Middle East? Her Excellency Hanan Jara arrives, arrives in South Africa at a time when the continent is rapidly changing and becoming the new frontier for investment, trade and tourism. But it's also during a difficult time with the coronavirus pandemic and uh, equality talks over the acquiring of a vaccine for all around the world. Let's chat to her now about uh, working women and more. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, for your time here on ENCA. Uh, first of all, explain to us, besides what it means for you, but what it means for Africa and Palestine for us to have uh, the first female ambassador to our country from the Middle East. Good morning. Thank you for having me on um, a very interesting um, uh, occasion. Uh, uh, I would love to salute you personally and uh, the African, South African women, the African women, Palestinian women and women all around the globe uh, and wishing them a happy and healthy International Women's Day. Uh, it's important for me to be the first, um, uh, it's, it's an honor, I do believe that, uh, and the privilege to be the first Palestinian female ambassador in the continent and in South Africa in particular, because of the shared and the long uh, history uh, of struggle against oppression and against uh, uh, apartheid uh, that uh, both Palestinian and South African women uh, shared for quite a long time. We all know that revolution is a woman and there has been uh, no, uh, uh, there has been uh, uh, never uh, any uprising against oppression, uh, colonization or racial segregation anywhere around the world that wasn't shouldered first and foremost uh, by uh, women. In Palestine it, and in South Africa, of course, it's no different. That's why we do believe that uh, suppression of women voices is a misinterpretation of reality and uh, the voices of Palestinian women and the South African women are uh, high, loud and clear in all struggles in relation to justice, human and human rights. And this is clearly reflected in the uh, uh, feminist uh, movement motto in Palestine that there is no free homeland without free women. Mm -hmm. Now, as uh, an ambassador, ambassador um, Your Excellency, what is your first, what is the first thing that you want to do to emancipate the women of South Africa and the women of uh, Palestine and basically just the African continent as a whole? Well, I will be joining uh, many virtual uh, um, events on this uh, regard, especially that uh, uh, South Africa and the ANC in this year celebrating 150 years of Charlotte Mckeke, the first president of the Bantu Women's League, which was the uh, uh, forerunner of the ANC Women's League. And also this month is the month of the UN Commission on the Status of uh, Women. There are many uh, virtual events that I will be attending, explaining more and more about uh, the struggle of the Palestinian women, especially in such distinct time where the pandemic is is uh, giving Palestine, the African people, and the, the entire uh, globe uh, very testing and difficult uh, times. Uh, especially taking into consideration that Palestinian women uh, are not only facing the pandemic right away; they are facing uh, uh, um, the pandemic and they are facing another pandemic, which is the Israeli occupation, prolonged occupation, and uh, an apartheid uh, context. So I will be uh, uh, targeting uh, many um, uh, different groups from different walks of life talking about the Palestinian women's struggle in light of such uh, testing uh, times uh, under uh, the pandemic. And in this regard, I really would love to salute our Minister of Health, which is by the way, she's a female and she used to be an ambassador of Palestine to Chile and Italy. And now she's doing and handling the pandemic in a very uh, good manner. Mm -hmm. You spoke as well uh, extensively in, in your answer about um, the pandemic. You come to South Africa as ambassador uh, during this time when we are facing this pandemic, pandemic around the world. There's also the World Health Organization and other groups' uh, basic debate about, you know, uh, the equal uh, sharing of the vaccine, every vaccine that comes out in the world, not for it to end up only with the rich countries and then they end up with surplus. Uh, what's your, um, you know, take on the fact that we need to have all countries uh, able to have access to the, to the vaccine so that the whole world is actually uh, 
you know, at the end immune, partially immune? Of course, I, I am with this uh, uh, trend, and uh, this trend actually uh, took place first, uh, and the first people who wrote about it is the people of South Africa, especially Minister Nalide Bandor and uh, her advisor, who were talking about the importance of international solidarity in such distinct times, and that uh, multilateral forums should constitute a forum to share uh, uh, the, the the vaccines and to share the benefits and not only to suppress the benefits for the rich uh, countries. And here comes an important uh, concept that really helped uh, African countries and uh, is helping Palestine uh, right now, which is the international solidarity and the importance of international solidarity that people should uh, come unite together, work shoulder in shoulder, hand in hand uh, to support each other and to provide a assistance for each other in such distinct uh, times, because the danger is not uh, targeting one nation and not targeting another. And as we witnessed at the beginning of the pandemic, rich countries like Italy, Spain, U.S. were also targeted uh, by, by this uh, pandemic. So the importance of international solidarity uh, is really very clear in, in this uh, distinct uh, time. As a woman, as a human being, as a mother, uh, and as, as a, a diplomat and as an activist, I do believe that it is time to reinforce the concept uh, of international solidarity and reinform, reinforce the multilateral forums to support uh, uh, nations without uh, 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 giving any uh, uh, discrimination, uh, whether it's a, a wealthy country or it's a poor uh, country. Mm. Your Excellency, thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. That was, of course, uh, the Excellency Hanan Jarrah, Ambassador of Palestine to South Africa.